In this video, we talk about a new topic in the study of binary operations called as the composition table or the operation table. We already know what is a binary operation. We already know what do you mean by commutativity and associativity. We also have a bit knowledge about identity element inverse of an element in binary operation. Let's see how to solve all these laws and properties of binary operation with the help of a composition table. In the next video, we'll be seeing some working problems based on this. In this video, we just have an overview of what is a composition table, how to draw it. Let's see. Suppose I have a set S. I have a set called as capital S and the set has some elements from A1, A2 till AI, AJ, so followed by AN. And that set is a finite set. What do you mean by a finite set? A finite set is the one in which the elements are finite. That means they can be counted. They are not infinite in number. So I have a set which has some finite elements. Number of elements is fixed to n. Now, what do we do is, in order to draw this kind of table, I have to make some grid. I have to make some horizontal rows and some vertical columns. And write all the elements one by one. Firstly, A1 to AN, in which A1, A2, A3, then AI, then AJ till AN. This is the first vertical column. The star sign denotes the binary operation and one horizontal row from AI, AJ till AN. So A1, A2, A3 via AI, AJ till AN. This is the first step. Now whatever operation is given to me, it is denoted as star by general, we know that. What we do is, we treat a1 with a1 so it becomes a1 star a1 in the first box in the next box what happens is you have to treat a1 with a2 so a1 with a2 gives me a1 star a2 similarly you move on forward and you make a1 star A3 and it so on goes on to A1 star AI. So I write A1 star AI. And the story continues till A1 when treated with AJ. So it becomes A1 star AJ. And last but not the least, for the first row, we have A1 star AN. That means what? That means we have to start filling the composition table or the operation table by row by row. Now, what happens when I have to do A2 row being filled? I have to just operate a2 with A1 that gives me A2 star A1 then A2 with A2 so A2 will A2 will give me A2 star A2 so I write A2 star A2 and so on A2 star AI then I move to A2 star AJ and we have a2 star An. The similar story happens with A3. So it can be completed then with A4, then with A5 and so on. What about Ai? Ai star A1. Then Ai star A2. And here we will have something called as Ai star Ai. Then moving forward, this AI with the above AJ will give me AI star AJ. 
and last but not the least again in the row of ai i have ai star an similarly aj the line would be filled i will have aj star a1 aj star ai here i would be getting aj star aj and similarly for an i would be having an star a1 an star a2 an star ai an star aj and in the last an star an so what i mean to reflect from here that there are some diagonal elements what is a diagonal we already know that in a rectangle also we have a diagonal that means a slanting line wherein you have similar sort of elements that means a1 star a1 a2 star a2 and here it should have been a3 star a3 similarly you will have a4 star a4 a5 star a5 ai star ai and similarly aj star aj an star an these elements which are treated with all together the same element they form a diagonal and the diagonal in an operation table is very much important for the sake of learning of commutativity especially what happens is from this composition table i can find out many things i can find out what i can find out first thing that is the closure property followed remember we studied about closure property in our very initial videos of binary operation so closure property how to check whether it is followed in this binary table or not there is one very simple funda related to this the trick is you observe your composition table all together the whole composition table and you check that is there any element which is repeated more than once in the same row or in the same column suppose i have in consideration the ith column i am taking the ith column so a1 star ai it comes only once if it comes only once every element will come only once that means the closure property is followed but suppose for example here also i have a1 star ai or a2 star ai that means more than once so i would say closure property is not followed so it is not a binary operation one more thing for closure property to be followed except the fact that repetition should not be there one more thing is there that all the elements should belong to the set only remember the set was what a1 a2 then ai then aj then an so nothing beyond this scope it should be always related to that only similarly we would be checking from few examples how to check the commutativity existence of inverse and identity elements from this composition table in the next videos